What's up, douches? This is kind of impromptu and whatnot, and um, I'm probably going to play some more StarCraft 2 and then try to get a pull day in today. But dealing with all this Stephanie bullshit made me really, really think about something. Because she won't say otherwise, but she kept trying to have me have dinner with her dad, and I'm assuming that her dad pimps her out and runs her career, and he was going to try to convince me it's a good idea that she does Uncle Sam junk and all that bullshit, which I totally would have said no to if they would have asked me, just like I thought it was a bad idea to steal money to be in a fucking horror rap video. And Stephanie's the reason why P. Diddy got raided, because she pissed me off and I audited everything, allegedly. Anyways, it seems like since she was 15, her family has been like, wow, the, the child we kind of is just there and annoys us and we all kind of don't have time for can finally be useful by making us money. And they've been pipping her out ever since. And you better finger pop and you better do all that shit and wear the cat ears and get pimped out behind the scenes and we don't care how many fat old men you have to fuck to get the parts, go get the parts. That's how they treat her. At the very least, the times when like my family was like, I am looking back at them even though they were like, it, w it wasn't like only I was depressed, only I was having a bad time. We all were. That's the system. Like NAFTA. Like everyone was getting taxed, inflation and all that bullshit. Everyone was having a bad time. But at the very least, my, my parents were working for the children. They weren't having the children work for the parents. Even, even when like, like if I would have bought the house for them and all that bullshit, it would kind of be... With my dad's condition right now, it would be a pain in the ass for them because they would just be selling it anyways to go to Utah and all that bullshit. But like when we had the house, remember my dad was working like two, sometimes three jobs to be able to pay for the house and all that bullshit. And there were times when I was like basically a bum in Seaville and I would catch a ride to their house or whatever the fuck and I would just hang out and like get some food and some clothes and go back. At least I could do that. Like she's been doing the opposite they've been pimping her out so that they can buy clothes and they're like no it's okay we aren't just buying clothes we're buying versace clothes now that's okay we're not just getting a used car we're getting a used bmw thanks for being a whore i i'm starting to see why she's so jaded like to her the idea of having a family means like pimping someone out She's like, I don't, she's deep down, she's like, I don't want anyone to go through what I'm going through, then why, why are you doing it? Like, whatever hole you're trying to fill with, like, Versace, obviously ain't doing it. Or you would, or you would have gone through that fucking music video, and you would have done all the smut scenes. Like, I don't understand this bullshit. Like, she's so fucking jaded. I'm almost certain there's, like, child labor laws, which is probably why she had to go to Korea to do this shit in America that would have not let this happen. Even if she was on, like, the Disney Channel, like, Moesha or whatever the fuck they had, Hannah Montana, whatever the fuck it was, she would still probably have, like, better conditions than if she was in Korea. It totally shows in her psyche and her persona. So, I mean, like, I'm just glad I had parents that worked for me while I was a kid, instead of parents who pimped me out as a child so that they could buy things. Because that's totally what it seems like it did. It, seem, it seems like they control her money, they mismanage her assets, they steal from her as much as they can. The moment I called it out, everyone got pissed off and they pimped her out to some studios. Because you're, you're, it seems like you come from a Joseon, Manchico, you know, crime syndicate family. And I come from a family, come from a family who came to America on various generations to have a better life. And for whatever reason, you were born in America. Stephanie was born in America, and she ran away because her parents pimp her out. Her family pimps her out. It's it's really fucking jaded. It's pretty fucked up. So I just wanted to say, I'm gonna go back to playing StarCraft Two and all that bullshit, but like. At least my parents worked for me when I was a kid. I mean, like, simple things like being able to have a computer so I could take the burned copy of StarCraft II and crack the key code so I could play it for free. I mean, the StarCraft One, StarCraft Brood Wars, specifically. That, that versus 
being trained to like say yes to old douches and then get pimped out and like now I honestly think her auditions for the show are like just her being like pimped out and taking money to do weird things because that seems like that's what she does it seems like she gets flown places that happens to her she makes a song about it and then she turns that into a way of making money so that her family can have bullshit while they steal her money because that, that that's what the audit shows uh, all right anyways peace out